water line replacement project in College Park, Maryland. We have a blue poly water line that is currently leaking after it's already been repaired once in the past. So we are now going to propose a replacement and that replacement is to take place from this water meter crock which is slightly under snow up to the axis of the house which is off the side of the house. We currently have guaranteed blue poly maybe a small repair right here with a coupling and some copper off of that side. So the way we plan to do this is with no less than two excavations, maybe even three if soil conditions require that. But the minimum of two excavations is going to be excavation one, about three feet wide by three feet long by three feet deep, exposing the water line as it exits the water meter crock. Next excavation will be by the foundation wall, which by the way the water line runs under this area, approximately three to four feet deep. There's a transition around this area from blue poly to copper where it goes around this window well and it enters the house through this wall estimated. So the second excavation site will be right here, three feet wide by about six feet long by about three feet deep as we expose the water line as it enters the house. Should be coming in through the wall, however it's not guaranteed for I haven't been able to enter the basement on the day of the estimate. So with that being said, the estimate has been drawn up as if it's going in through the wall. So we have to go inside, core drill through the wall where it's currently entering, remove the old water line, and prepare this for installation. Once we have the water line exposed here and the water line exposed there, we go ahead and cut and cut, run a cable all the way through, connect it to a brand new water line, place a water line pulling machine over there, and then perform a water line pull where we pull the old one out as we pull a brand new one in the exact same location. We're going to be pulling out three quarters and reinstalling a one inch, whether that being plastic or copper, that's up to the homeowner. But once it's underground, we properly see it, uh, sleeve it through the wall, connect it to the house with a shutoff valve and a PRV valve, which is a pressure reducing valve. Then we seal the foundation wall with concrete or hydraulic concrete and tar. And after we pass inspection, which is a second day, whether that being following or five days after, that's up to WSSC. Once we pass inspection, we backfill tamp, grade, seed and straw, clean up the job site. Same thing happens with that excavation site over there. Once that all is done, that should complete the project. Waterline pulling from two excavation sites, most likely maybe three at the most. That's what we got.